Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa and I'm the owner of seasonandserveblog.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my caprese stuffed portobello mushrooms. This recipe is completely vegetarian and is perfect for the summertime. I like to grill these on the barbecue for extra flavor, but if you don't have a barbecue, you can also bake these in your oven as well. These delicious mushrooms are filled with herbs, garlic, and cheese and are topped off with freshly sliced cherry tomatoes and a sprinkling of breadcrumbs. And if you're a big fan of garlic bread or bruschetta, you are definitely going to enjoy this recipe. So if you want to see how I make my caprese stuffed portobello mushrooms, just keep on watching. First we'll begin by preparing our herbs. I'm using some curly parsley in this recipe, but feel free to use Italian flat leaf parsley as well. All you want to do is make sure that it's chopped up nice and fine. I'm also using six basil leaves and I'm rolling those up and cutting them into nice thin julienne strips. Next we'll chop up our cherry tomatoes and these are the first BC grown cherry tomatoes that I got my hands on this year and they were absolutely delicious. I'm cutting each cherry tomato into three slices so that each mushroom gets three slices of cherry tomato on top. Once your cherry tomatoes are chopped up, move them over to the side and then we'll make our filling. The main ingredient in our filling is mozzarella cheese and that is probably why all of these mushrooms taste so good. So I'm adding the mozzarella cheese to the bowl and then I'm going to finely grate one clove of garlic into the cheese. I like using a microplane for this because I don't want to bite into a really big chunk of garlic. And next we'll add our chopped basil into the bowl followed by the chopped parsley. And finally, we are gonna add a tablespoon of butter into this mixture, and it sounds a bit crazy, but this is what really gives it that garlic bread flavor. So I'm adding that in, and I'm using a spatula to mix everything up to combine. Then once all your ingredients are combined, we're gonna set this aside for later. In a small bowl, I am combining some avocado oil with a little bit of salt and pepper. I'm gonna use this mixture to brush all over the mushrooms just to make sure that they stay nice and juicy as they cook on the barbecue. I'm mixing everything together with a silicone brush and I'm just gonna set that aside for later. And now we'll clean up our portobello mushrooms. And this is what a portobello mushroom looks like. It is fairly big and sometimes they are fairly dirty. So I'm just taking a damp cloth and just wiping all the outside of the cap clean. And to get ready to stuff the mushrooms, we're going to remove all the gills as well as the stem of the mushroom because this is going to get in the way of our filling. So to remove the stem, you just simply pop it off. If there's anything left over, you can just trim it with a knife and then take a teaspoon and just scrape the inside of the gills out and they come out fairly easily. Add this into your compost and put it in your garden. This makes excellent fertilizer for your plants. And then once your first mushroom is all cleaned out, it should look something like this. So place it to the side and continue the process for the rest of the mushrooms. And before we take these mushrooms out to the barbecue, we are gonna brush them with the avocado oil mixture. I'm brushing them on the inside of the cap really well, as well as the outside of the cap because we are gonna grill these on both sides. And once your mushrooms are all brushed with the oil mixture, place them on a plate and we'll take them out to the barbecue. To grill these mushrooms, I am preheating my barbecue to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I'm adding the mushrooms to the grill with the hollow side down first, and then I'm gonna let that cook for about five minutes. After five minutes, the mushrooms should be a little bit tender on the bottom and have some nice grill marks. Then you just wanna remove them from the barbecue to make them easier to stuff. Stuff the mushrooms, flip them over so that the hollow side is facing up, and then divide your cheese mixture evenly amongst the four portobello mushrooms. 
make sure to press the cheese down a little bit just so that it doesn't fall out as it cooks on the barbecue. Next we're going to top each of the mushrooms off with three slices of cherry tomato and then we're going to add a little bit of breadcrumbs on top as well just for a bit of crunch. Once your mushrooms are stuffed, carefully return them back to the barbecue and put the lid down to cover it and you'll let these cook for another five minutes or until the bottom of the mushroom is soft and all of that cheese is golden brown and melted. And once your mushrooms are done cooking, remove them from the barbecue, put them on a nice platter and bring them to the table. Serve these caprese stuffed portobello mushrooms piping hot straight off the barbecue and don't forget to garnish with a little bit more chopped parsley and some freshly sliced cherry tomatoes for garnish. And there you have it, my recipe for caprese stuffed portobello mushrooms. If you enjoyed today's video and this recipe, make sure you hit the like button down below as well as the red subscribe button to see more delicious recipe videos like this one. Make sure to visit my blog to get the entire recipe plus more delicious barbecue recipes. Also, don't forget to check me out on Instagram for more recipe ideas and inspiration. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.